Good evening, <laughs> and all that stuff. How are you getting on? Uh, tonight, I'm back, and I'm playing a bit more of uh, Hotel, the collector's edition, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure what makes it any different from the original version, maybe just that it runs on modern systems, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, what, what happened last time we played that game? Well, we found out that this hotel was being run by some kind of cult leader, and that our boss was some kind of supernatural... I don't know, part of some sort of supernatural protection league. I don't know if you want to call them that. But that's what we're going to play tonight. We're going to play a bit more of that hotel game. So that should be interesting. Um, anything else of interest to talk about today? Oh, I don't know. Apart from that, uh, that cop involved in the that murder... Was finally sentenced 22 years. Hopefully he stays in. And unsurprisingly, good old, and I say good old and I do not mean it, Boris Johnson, unsurprisingly, stood by his man. You know, for breaking the rules and for being a bit dodgy, let's be honest. But let's be honest, he wasn't—he was never going to get rid of him because then he'd have to look long and hard at himself, wouldn't he, for the stuff he's done previously? It was always pretty transparent that that's what was going to happen, and that's all I've got to say on that, really. So yeah, let's get back to the game, Hotel. Let's jump across to it right about now, if it ever comes up. Turn that off. There we go. There's the game. Hotel. So yeah, um, we had to do like three tasks or something. Um, so we did two. We did the one for, what was it, knowledge and then one for love. Uh, no, I don't want that. And then we had to do another one. We had to chat to her about the other one. I'm back. Your timing's excellent. We must hurry to meet our destiny. Final task? Something like that, but basically, yes. You only need the truth to go on with your mission. Where do we go from here? And to climb down the well in the village, you'll learn the truth you seek down there. Got it. I'll be waiting for you outside. You won't be going down the well with me? No, I can't go. I already passed that task. This challenge is the same for everyone, and can only be seen once. I'll wait for you at the top. Then you'll teach me the values of truth? You will already know them when you finish your task. I see, in that case, off I go. See you soon. So that was the well that was down here, this well. Uh, I think we had some rope, didn't we? Stick the rope down the well, and we'll go down the well. Let's see what it's all about this task. One sec. Can we go down? Oh, here we go. Well, there's a thing on the wall. Let's go. Let's have a look at it. So what do we have to do here? Okay, so we've got some symbols. Right, I'm guessing these symbols have to touch on the other symbols. Probably they have to match a symbol, I would, I would think. So what can we do with these? Oh, I see, we can rotate them. Okay, well, let's do this. Because I assume that's got a match like that. It's like kind of like dominoes, I think, is really the... I don't know, let's take this fish thing. If we then have a fish and a dragon... Oh yeah, there we go. And let me just think here. We want something that's got the dragon on the side and a fish on the one side. So probably what we want is this. And then the dragon and the moon. I guess. And then we want the moon. And probably this. Mm, no. Yes. Pop that over there. Pop this one here. I'm assuming that's what it is. I say it's like dominoes. I think Teresa will be proud of me. Oh, 
Okay, let's get out then. Didn't say I was good with riddles. Just bring them on. Sorry, didn't I say I was good? Oh, someone's getting shot at. What did you do? I killed her, isn't it obvious? She was one of the apothecary. You know about that? You knew about it all along? You feel rather stupid now, don't you? I can't believe I fell for your phony investigation. From the first moment I knew something was wrong. You worked for Atia. Very clever of you. She told me to follow you and uh, you brought me to the gold mine. Now I'm going to kill you and there's nothing you can do to stop me. You should have killed me sooner. You see, you're not the only one with friends in high places. Cleopatra? Come in at you. Hey, but what? There she is. Look, she's taking him away. <laughs> she's taking him away into the ground. Never to return. Oh wait, is she a ghost now as well? You knew this would happen. I had a hunch, but don't worry. I taught you everything you need to know. So what now? Now you need to return to the hotel and deal with the ritual. Deal with the ritual? How am I supposed to do that? I've no idea what to do next. You've completed the three tasks. You are now a member of Apothecary. That's it, no big ceremony. We'll have to postpone the ceremony for another time. Now, you need to stop at here. So this will all help this is all the help I'll get from you. You know everything you need. Now go and finish your job, Bridget Brightstone. Wish me luck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Didn't wish me any fucking luck though, did you? Later, back at the castle. Hotel. Well, let's try going in. Let's try to go in. Oh no, the gates are closed. How am I supposed to get inside? I don't know if I can open them. Well, what can I do then? Well, the lamp pole. That one doesn't show up. This one does. A lamp. Nothing strange about it. Looks like it's made of solid iron. Oh, we've still got the rope. I bet if we tie that round, we can climb or something. Maybe climb out onto the ledge. Still pretty dangerous. Does that let me do something? Oh look, we can climb below the bridge now because we've got that. Uh, iron bars. Great. Is there anything around over here? Oh, there's something there. A rusty saw. Oh, I'll have that. Is that going to be enough to cut through these bars, do you think? That rusty old saw. Oh, the music's got very exciting all of a sudden. Maybe we can cut the bars with this. Probably. In we go. Right, what do we have here? We've got two holes that we can't do anything with. And we've got a tube seal. Okay. So what's this for? What do we do with this? Oh, I see. You can kind of turn it. Oh, it looks like we've got to draw these together to make like a triangle then. That only seems to affect... Right. I see. Oh no, look, that draws them apart. Well, that's annoying. I wonder, what if I do that one then? That draws them further apart, look. Hmm. Okay. So how do I get these to draw together properly though? That doesn't work. Because that just draws them apart. Is there some way to reset this? Can I, if I go out of it, does it, yeah, step away. And go back in. Does that... It resets it back. Right, let's see. Let's think of how we can do this. Let's think how we can do this. Let me think here. What if I do... Um, this. Let me think. Just trying to think. What are you 
Um, I don't think that's what I want to do. How do I... Wait, go out again. Reset it. Right, so this puzzle looks quite difficult, actually. Hmm. Right, let's try something. I'm going to try bringing them together. Like, all the way together. All the way together. Right? So then this one. Try this one. Right. Now this one. Try and push those together. Somehow. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We don't need to touch that bottom left one now because that's... Although... Right. Now let's just try that again. See that? It's affecting the bottom one again. But not affecting the one on the side. So far, at least. So maybe if I keep going back and forth between these two, eventually they'll draw together properly. That should be enough for that one, right? Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, so that is working a bit better now, actually, yeah. Because they're not drawing apart quite as far. So I would assume that this should do it. No, apparently not. Well, maybe it will. Yes. And then I guess we pull that in the middle. Yes, and we open it. Oh, and now there's a panel. What do we do here? So we've got some levers. I'll move these, hit that. Oh, that was it, apparently. Hit some buttons. Turn the thing on. Nice. Let's get in the elevator. See where it takes us to. So I don't know how much longer we've got of this game. I've got a feeling we can't be far away from the end. So we'll probably have to play something else afterwards. Oh, hello. It's Veronica again. She's back. What's going on? I came here to warn you. You have to hurry. Deal with Atia and the ritual right now. What happened? She killed him. She killed her husband. She killed Mr. Greenleaf? Are you sure? Yes, we all felt it. This killing spree of Atia has to stop. And it has to stop now. Yes, and with this murder, things just became much more serious. Our informant was sent away earlier today and couldn't warn us of her intentions. Who's the informant? Remember the butler? He's been providing us with key surveillance of the hotel. Unfortunately, Atia sent him away before he could learn any more details about her plans. I see, is he alright? Yes, he contacted us when he got to Paris, but we believe his cover with Atia is compromised. What do you know about Mr. Greenleaf's death? His body has not passed on completely. It was a kind of death that killed all traces of his identity. During the ritual for Akash, she cleansed his mind completely. She actually erased everything? Yes. That woman needs to be stopped. Do you have any idea why Mr. Greenleaf was killed? My suspicion is that she needs him for something. Probably for as a body for the uh, Akash. Otherwise she wouldn't have kept him around for so long. We have a theory that she needs to use his body as a new physical host for Akash. That makes sense. I suppose. <laughs> it does, and if it's true, the ritual's already halfway done. Where's Atia now? We're not sure. We've discovered she's some secret chambers underground, but we don't know where the entrance is. Why didn't you check? We don't have time to look for the passage now. Atia outsmarted us, and I, well... You didn't get your chance, did you? I think it's possibly something to do with that library, you know? One sec. Just check everything there that they were hiding in. Indeed. Well, wish me luck. I'm going to stop her. She's not going to wish you luck. She didn't wish you luck last time. We're all grateful for this. We understand it's not an easy assignment. And you must be aware that you could be killed. Are you trying to scare me? Don't worry, it's a bit unconventional, but it's my job. I grab them, and I guess you tag them. 
I admire your understanding. We'll be in touch. Now Harry, you have to stop the ritual. They don't believe in luck here. They, they believe that we need to stop the ritual without luck. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Probably want to go outside. I think. And then... There was the library... Why does that have a square around it? No, it's not there. Is it there? Oh yeah, I know where it is, okay. I think I know where it is. There was a library, and it's a room off to the right at the... at this bit down here. It's annoying that double clicking doesn't get me there again. There we go, go to the library. Because they were chatting and being a bit weird in that library, I remember. Okay. What do we have here? Books. Books, books, books. Where's the secret passage? I don't know. Try grabbing the books then. Is it that? What are we going to do? I mean, oh, it was that easy. Just click on the books. Let's go inside. What do we have here? Oh, there's a torch. We probably need that. It's probably going to get really dark. And let's go. Let's see what's going on. Uh oh, look at this. Can't believe what I see. What is this place? What the hell's going on here? Oops, luckily they didn't notice me. Seems preparations for the ritual are already underway. I must create a diversion, something really loud. Something really big. Uh, is there something we can do in the hotel? Uh, let me think. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could possibly mess around with the boiler or something. Can we make that go boom? It's totally not where I, where I was going, but okay. I go, oh yeah, you need to go there first, and then up there. And then up there. Did I leave all my stuff in my room? I don't know. We're not worried about that right now, we've got ritual to stop. But maybe we can blow something up. Turn the pressure right up in the boiler or something. This was the boiler room behind this statue, I seem to remember. Um, and then down here... Oh yeah, there's the there's the controls for it. So let's see. Do, do, do. I wonder what if we do this? How do I? What does that do? Oh, drive everything straight to there. Why does that one not work? There it is. So if I do that... Oh yeah, and then I put all of these here, it's going to send all the pressure straight to that, look. It's gone red. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Let's get out of here. I've got a bad feeling about what might happen. Oh. What was that? Mmm, as if something exploded near the ballroom. Wait here. Atty is away. I've got a feeling there's not much more to do here. Get out of here, quick. Downstairs. Through the secret passage. Go, go, go. And I guess then we go this way. Okay. If I light this. Light this torch, right? Light the torch. Also, make sure they haven't got... Make sure they don't have access to the grail. Take the grail quickly. Now, let me use this torch on the mummy. Burn the mummy. That's always the best way to do it, I think. Burn him! Burn him to a crisp! Oh no, he's gone. You! I'm going to kill you! Oh, well, I've stopped your ritual. So saying that you're under arrest probably wouldn't change your mind. Shut up! Well, what if I take this grail and throw it in there? 
How would that make you feel? You wouldn't. Why? You plan to kill me either way. But I think you're terrified that something might happen to the Grail. I will kill you. And I'll be so much happier when you're gone. Oh, save it. If you don't want to see this Grail disappear forever, I suggest you drop the gun and surrender. How dare you destroy my immortal love. Love? Oh, you mean that old mummy? I didn't think that fire would even hurt him, let alone kill him, honestly. I'll make you suffer for this. I see. Let me just get one thing clear before all the suffering. You killed your husband for that old pile of bandages? How dare you talk about Akash like that? You try anything and the grill goes straight to the underworld. No. Then behave. Now on your knees. On my knees? How dare you, you little brat? I will not tolerate your insolence any longer. Alright, fine. See you later, Grail. No, the Grail! And she's gone. Is that the end of the game? Have we managed to finish the game? We should have finished it last time. <laughs> I'll have to find something else to play. We'll have to find something else to play. Oh, she's making a phone call. Do we get voice acting now? Yeah. Hi, sire. Case closed. Sire. Sire. Why did what? What was that about? What does she mean by that? What? <laughs> That's it, that's the game. Good night. No, I'm kidding. What's this loading? Yeah, just the end credits. And that's it. So what did the collector's edition give us good edition give us exactly? It gave us biographies for the characters. It gave us a strategy guide. It actually does tell us exactly what to do. Why well, okay. Uh, some bonus art. I think games would do this, you know, oh, here's your collector's edition. Got some extra crap on it that you're not really going to be that interested in, but there it is. Some wallpapers. Uh, the biggest wallpaper you can get in this game is 1280 by 960 uh, if you're rocking that kind of resolution on your screen. If you really want it. Uh, 1024 by 768, maybe. Uh, and some bonus music. It's a remix of the, the theme. You'll probably get in trouble for playing it. Winter's Coldness. Something called Last Bottle of Rum. Lonely Skies, that was a piece of music in the game. Captain Blakey. And Mind Games. And that's basically the, what that game gives you. So, as well as the standard edition of the game, you get a collector's edition thing there. And that's about it. Set various... Uh, resolutions if you want there. That's it, that's the game. That is Hotel.